the problem statement from gate physics 2013 reads as follows an n channel junction field effect transistor has 5 milliamps source to drain current at shorted gate also known as IDSS and 5 volts pinch of voltage VP calculate the drain current in milliamps for a gate source voltage VGS of minus 2.5 volts the answer should be up to two decimal places uh, this is a numerical answer type question um, and we need to find the drain current for this problem in milliamps and we'll and then we'll round off our answer to two decimal places as required and fill in the blank over here let's first try to understand what a junction field effect transistor is also uh, known as short as JFET so on the left hand side uh, you can see the symbol for uh, that is the n type GIF, GFET why n type because the conduction here is due to electrons and on the right hand side you can see the p type GFETs uh, so you can see that uh, this 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 symbol one vertical line and these two rectangular lines and this the the, the symbol inside the circle is for the n GFET and if, if it's if the arrow is pointing outwards from the gate it's known as PJFET. It's a three terminal device. So you have the drain, you have the gate and you have the source. These are the three terminals. And why it's a transistor? Because it's the gate that is controlling how much current flows between drain and source. So that's the definition of a transistor. When the third terminal gate is controlling the current flow between the drain and source. And this is a junction field effect transistor. By that we mean that they, they, uh, there are junctions in here. So you can see uh, for NGFET you have a you have an N type N type substrate in which there are two P type regions, these are the gates. So, gate is P type, while drain and source are the N type. So, effectively, the current flow will happen in this vertical region, the N type region, hence, this NGFET. Similarly, for P type, you have the gate is N type, and the drain and source are P type, and the conduction will be due to the holes for P. GFET. Uh, for our discussion, we will restrict ourselves to NGFET because the discussion remains the same, just the current direction is reversed. The, the physics behind the behind these devices remain the same. After a certain VDS, which is defined here as VP, the current is constant, the current is constant, right? And below a tertian, in the orange region, below a certain VGS, right? So this is the VGS that we are talking about over here, this VGS, this level. Below this, there is no conduction because it has been pinched off, the, the, the channel has been pinched off and no electrons can flow. So no current is flowing over here. And this region is the ohmic region. This is the, the why is called ohmic because you see the vertical axis is current and the horizontal axis is voltage and you see a linear relation. So I directly proportional to V. That's why this region is called the ohmic region. And after a very high uh, drain voltage, the device breaks down because note that is the P injunction. And this is the equation that we encounter to solve for a given VGS and a given pinch of voltage. And obviously VDSS is the when VGS is equal to zero, what is the current? So this is this is a good metric uh, which is provided by the uh, in the data sheet. So this is this is also in the problems you will know this. So ID is IDSS times one minus VGS over VP whole square. So this is the formula which we use to arrive at the current in the in the saturation condition. And getting back to the problem, this was the NFET NJFET that was given to us. I, IDS is equal to 5 milliamps and pinch of voltage is minus 5. So I've just taken it small, it's 5 volts and VGS is minus 2.5 volts. So you can clearly see that, that the VGS over here, right? So it is greater than VP because not VGS is minus 0.5 and VP is minus 5. So this means device will conduct because it's not pinched off, right? Device will conduct. And, uh, and what is the formula? Uh, so I have just uh, denoted the currents over here. You can see IG is zero. We neglect the gate current. So we assume that no, in the depletion region, no current is flowing through the gate. And consequently, ID will be equal to IS because if like KCL over here, so since no current is flowing in, so ID will, will be equal to IS. And I have denoted VD, VG and VS for just for the simply, uh, just so that we are able to understand where is strain, where is source. Right, and this is the formula that we'll use. We established that device will conduct. This is the formula we'll use. So we'll simply plug in the values. So IDSS is nothing but five milliamps times one minus. So minus VGS. This will be uh, minus minus. So minus into minus two point five 
divide by minus of minus 5 whole square. So this will come out to be 5 milliamps times, so minus minus will become plus, so that will be 2.5 upon 5 whole square. So this will be 5 milliamps, 1 minus half whole square. So that's 5 milliamps into 1 over 2 square. So that will be 5 milliamps over 4 which is nothing but 1.25 milliamp. So we see there is some finite current flowing over here. Note that it's not high as the IDSS because IDSS is when VGS equal to 0 and we have still VGS as some negative voltage, right? So there will be some current flowing which is 1.25 milliamps and we'll, so we have uh, obtained the current here in milliamps which was required and up to two decimal places. So the answer here would be 1.25. Thank you for listening.